We're back here on the Easy View Coaching Show. Mark T. Robinson, but of course you already know that. And you know who this is as well. Head softball coach Janae Shirley. And you guys opened up the regular season with a matchup against Centenary. And uh, you guys had a dominant performance. 13-0 uh, to open things up. So it's not like you guys missed a beat or anything from uh, the offseason. So just kind of talk about what you saw as a head coach there on the sidelines from your team. Well, I mean, obviously we were pleasantly surprised any time you can walk away with a win. I think it's um, definitely positive. But, um, you know, we had a couple of, like, question marks going into the game. Just to, like, we're still working out positioning and lineup and things like that. But um, our girls did a, a good job of adjusting at the plate. And B had another great performance on the mound. She um, kind of picked up where she left off last year. And so we were definitely pleased with the outcome for sure. And one of the things I was, I was kind of looking at, you guys, obviously looking at the stat sheet, 17 hits, um, several players with uh, RBI, obviously. So just kind of talk about, you know, that it was that third base spot that I kind of had my eye on, as we talked about last time, um, to open before we opened up the season. But, uh, you know, you said uh, Nikki Gill saw some time there. Uh, India Holland uh, played well there. So just kind of talk about that little dynamic there in the game, what you saw. Yeah, so Nikki has um, actually played there in the past for us and, you know, did a, did a great job. She's very steady defensively and just, you know, I mean, we kind of knew what to expect with her. And obviously India, with her being new to our program, we weren't really sure, you know, things are different in practice in our game, but she did a great job. She had some really quality at-bats for us. Um, she did a good job of the play. So we were definitely pleased. And I think, um, you know, just overall, we have a lot more options than we've had in the past. You know, a lot of kids off the bench that can provide multiple roles, whether it be defensively, offensively, base running. Like, we just have um, so many more options, which has been nice. Absolutely. And, and I know that we kind of talked about as well, that can also, you know, create very good creative problems for you. And just looking at the box score, it's like you had several different subs in a lot of different spots, which can kind of, you know, be hard for the opposition. But it kind of looked like it was like a basketball game where you had all these different subs and things like that. So just kind of talk about how, as a coach, before you go into the game, is it a decision that you make prior to the game that, okay, we're going to have this person here and then we're going to have this person sub in here? Or is it kind of, no, you know, you fill it out? Yeah, I wouldn't say necessarily like it's predetermined. I think a lot of it's just a feel for the game and who's pitching and how people are matchups for that. But, you know, there's so many new players to our program that we, we just don't necessarily know exactly what they can do, what they're capable of doing. A lot of these, you know, some of these kids are freshmen, and so it's their first collegiate at bats or things like that. So just providing the opportunities for them to have game time experience um, also helps us know, like, okay, how, how do they respond in these certain situations, and how can we, like, utilize them later on, and, you know, where do they fit in into the puzzle, but um, that game was great for us because it gave us opportunity to to do that, to give lots of different people different at bats and use people differently defensively and on the bases, and uh, it really gave us an opportunity to look to see where we were at with a lot of things. So, absolutely, and and you guys um, just kind of talk about opening up, you know, the season, opening up on the road and things like that. Do you, do you ever worry about as a coach that, you know, that there's going to be, you know, a little bit of rust to have to work over, a little bit of a rhythm to have to get into, or does it make you nervous on the other end where you come out and perform the way you guys did, 17 hits, 13 runs scored, and does it kind of, you know, give you a false sense of hope or that, like, you know, there's still some things you got to work out? I mean, there's definitely, like, we're definitely not where we need to be right now. There's so many things we haven't had – a ton of opportunities to practice and there's so many things just defensively and offensively that we really need to fine tune and stuff like that but anytime you get an opportunity to play you get an opportunity to see the different stuff that you maybe aren't as sharp as you you thought you were or things that maybe you haven't gone over yet so um that's kind of the process we're at right now is like each time we play is seeing where we're at and where we need to like tweak things and work on stuff but you know I think it was a different feel this year coming out as opposed to last year last year we had so many new faces and new positions and things like that that 
we really didn't know what to expect in it. and going into it we knew that there'd be a lot of nerves and things like that but this season I mean every single kid I believe that started has had college games under their belt so mm -hmm. whether they be returners or transfers or whatever and so um, just providing slowly opportunity for freshmen to like kind of knock off the nerves and, mm -hmm. and get the opportunity that's been different than where we were last year I mean we had B and Presley were on the mountain as freshmen and you know just a lot of kids in big hand at shortstop a lot of kids in big positions that you know it's a different look now they're you know they've been they've had a lot of college games and they've had a lot of experience so it's just working on different things now absolutely and speaking of you kind of alluded to it the pitching um uh, Beatrice Lotta coming back. Um, she is your all ASC uh, pitcher. And now it seems like, you know, like you said, she's picked up right where she's left off, you know, uh, eight uh, uh, strikeouts and things of that nature in the first game. So just kind of talk about what parts of her game has she, have you noticed that she's kind of, you know, added to, you know, her pitching yeah, as much as you can? What does what she kind of, you know, continue to build on coming into this year? Well, I mean, obviously, like, she was an All-American for a reason. I mean, she had a phenomenal year as a freshman, which, you know, it's hard to do to come out and have the success that she did the previous year. But she is just, like, such a competitor, and she is somebody that, like, consistently gets better. And we were actually talking about it, I think, yesterday, how last year in the exact same game that – you know, she had multiple walks as opposed to this year where she had one. So she's done, she's like starting to get to where she really knows and understands what she's trying to get accomplished with each pitch and, and just continues to grow and get better and better every time she gets on the mound. And, you know, our whole staff, her and Presley have like did a great job last year and, um, Presley's coming off an injury, so we're excited to see her back in action as well. And both of those girls just compete and give us an opportunity to win every time they get out there. Absolutely. And you guys will have an opportunity to open up uh, tomorrow against Harden Simmons. And they are coming in. You know, obviously you guys battled them in the ASC tournament. Uh, came away with the 5-0 win last time you saw them. But they come back with uh, several new players as well. Uh, and uh, they come back with also a, a little bit of a veteran team, kind of a mix, a little bit like your team you know, in that sense. Not a whole lot of freshmen on that side. But, you know, as you guys open up here at home, uh, how is your team's focus uh, for tomorrow's matchup? And what are some of the things that you want to see your team execute? Well, again, like it, nothing has changed. I don't think about our program and how we prepare for other teams and the fact that we are more worried about what we do than what other people do because, you know, our game plan is not going to change based off of who we're playing. But I, I think our team hopefully will do a good job of, you know, not taking anybody for granted or, you know, kind of focus on that part, just really being sharp with everything that we do. Um, so I think, you know, I think that's ultimately the goal. You know, like everybody around here, we haven't had a ton of opportunities to either be outside or to do the things that we need to do. And, you know, we're hoping to get practice in today. But if we don't, we're going to make the most of the time that we have and, you know, we're going to try to compete every time we get a chance out there, just play our best ball. So that's the hope. Absolutely. And I actually wanted I was actually wondering what it is you guys kind of do when, you know, you have weather like we've had the last couple a couple of days, couple of weeks, actually, where it's constantly raining. You know, how do, how does that, you know, play into, you know, the way you guys prepare and things of that nature? Well, I mean, I think it, it is what it is, and you, like, do what you can with what you have. And, you know, we are very fortunate to have a turf field that, like, provides us opportunities that a lot, majority of the people, even in our conference, don't have. Um, so, like, yesterday was a great example. It rained most of the day, but it – so we early in practice hit in the cage and kind of worked on that stuff. But we had opportunity, like, an opening – for like an hour or so and so we were able to get some live at bats in and give people some you know chance to do a couple of things while we had the opportunity to do that and today if we get a chance to get out there we'll get done what we can get done and if not we'll kind of talk through and fine-tune what we can um elsewhere it's just like you make the most out of what you have and you can always get something done regardless of whether you have a field or a place to do it at Absolutely, and we look forward to seeing your team out there um, on Taylor Field. You guys can come out and support 
ETMU softball teams. They take on Harden Simmons starting tomorrow at 4 o'clock p.m. here at ETBU. And visit us at GoETBTigers.com or follow us on social media at GoETBU Tigers. Once again, Mark T. Robinson, head softball coach Janae Shirley. We'll be back here on the ETBU Coaches Show with another coach, so stay tuned.